uh, put in place yesterday. I want to uh, state for the record that uh, I intend to appeal that judicial decision made about the motion to dismiss. Noted for the record. All right, let's bring the jury out then. Um, actually, we didn't address subject matter jurisdiction. It still has yet to be proven for the record. And I wanted to address the fact that with this, um, is it Kohler? Is that how you pronounce the name? Kohler? We're going to continue with the witnesses. I. I've addressed subject matter jurisdiction repeatedly. There's a written decision. I stand behind it. You have three witnesses that you subpoenaed. The state made arrangements for them to be here. Whatever order you want to call them in this morning is fine, but those three are here. That's and what I was trying to address right now. I was asking okay, about the Okay, go ahead. What do you want to address? The, the, the Kohler, how do you pronounce the name? Kohler? Kohler? I'm still I don't know. You'll have to ask the witness. I'm still having trouble finding the file for, for that particular witness. Um, yeah, call the jury in. <clears throat> so I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to. Mr. Brooks, you were well advised. These are your witnesses that the state made arrangements. You knew who was going to be called. I put that on the record yesterday. So of those three, however, whatever order you want, but I'm not moving past those three. I didn't, uh, to say jump any, to others. I didn't say anything about moving past the three. I know that. I, I just set the tone for today that we're going to keep moving. Okay. I simply stated I'm, I'm not ready to ask that witness questions if okay. I can't even find the uh, I understand, paperwork. But that's you not having your paperwork's on you, not anybody else. So what am I supposed to ask them? I, I can't answer that, sir. And you, you know that. That's a rush to judgment. You can't rush mm -hmm. me to judgment when I'm notifying the court that I cannot find the record. Well, you did I can't very find, well yesterday I can't find without your file. That, so I'm saying that particular witness. I just, I'll make a record. Yesterday you asked a question. The, hold on a second. Can you have them step back out? Just they can. Yesterday you did, said you did not have a file for one of the witnesses, and you did a that fine was, job from my perspective. So I did what? You did a fine job. I just yeah, want to say they, my assessment. They also you did provided a good job. me with one sheet for that particular uh, witness at that time. Okay. So I'm I just went off the of that three in. paragraphs. How you're prepared or not is solely on you, sir. You've had all of this information. Now we're at the end of the third week of trial. These are your witnesses. I presume that you are prepared in whatever way that is. How you're can not I be hold prepared for? I'm not. So the witness is just supposed to get up there and just. I'm just no, like, I, yeah. I'm not uh, going to have this commentary, okay? I'm done. The jury's coming out. Be prepared to call So one that's, of the that's three. a rush to judgment. That is not a rush to judgment. It is a rush Again, to judgment. It's clearly a rush to judgment if I'm telling you that I don't have the no, file. Right. In how my am opinion, I supposed you're attempting to delay. So no, I'm not, I'm not attempting to delay nothing. You want to come check the boxes yourself? You always trying to pull some fast, fast maneuvers. Mr. Brooks. And uh, Miss Judge, Your Honor. Mr. Brooks, the jury's coming in. Yeah, Show and they, respect they, to they, the they jury. deserve to know this too. It's still issues that need to get addressed. We didn't even address everything. Mr. Brooks, <laughs> I addressed all of the issues. No, I you still know. had another one that didn't have nothing to do with nothing we just talked about. All there right. was a whole nother issue that needed to be addressed that I needed to and bring we'll on the record later. to your attention. We'll, br we'll address it later. It needs to get addressed now before we go any further because it's, it's an important matter. Just like the subject matter jurisdiction is important. That hasn't been proven on the record. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, just this like is the not rush to the judgment. time for evidence to be presented or arguments to be made by the parties. I can't the even jury present any evidence. You won't disregard let me any evidence in the record. All of these statements made by judgment. Mr. Brooks at this time. <laughs> All right. That's unfair what the you're doing. The court will address legal matters outside the then presence. Then we need Everyone to address the legal seated. matter that I was trying to get to and before you, you rush everything out. you may call your next out. witness, sir. I'm not calling any witness until I get an answer, Your Honor. You're a public servant. Mr. You're Brooks. Suppo you're supposed to be able to answer simple questions. Mr. Brooks. If I'm saying I have to bring call it to your attention. Call your next witness, please. That's the stage of the I have to bring at. it to your attention, Your Honor. Mr. Brooks, I'm, I'm really seeking to stop. bring an issue to your attention. I'm telling you to please. I'm asking you to please stop. And I'm asking you, Because we, we have the jury present. I'm asking and you. And we need to continue with the evidentiary phase of this trial. Call your next I'm witness. I'm asking you to address a legal matter. As you said, that those have to be taken up outside of the jury. I will there do that at the next matter. break. There was a legal matter that needed to be addressed beforehand I so we do don't it. have to take up time, I will valuable do it at time the next break. afterwards to address something that needs to be addressed now. That way, Mr. the Brooks, court and you yourself for the third are on time, notice. I will address it at the next break. Call your next witness, please. Are you asking me? 
I'm directing you to call your next witness. Your Honor, I'm, we're not going to move past this. Seeing as how you took an oath to protect the Constitution. I have your oath. I have a copy of your oath right here. The oath that you took, Your Honor. Mr. Brooks, I'd like to continue with testimony. To we have witnesses waiting for you. Please call your next witness. The oath that you swore to protect the Constitution, which you are now not doing. Mr. Brooks, so you're going call against your next your witness, sworn please. Oath. You're going against your sworn oath. Mr. Brooks, call your next as you, witness. As you, as you notify the jury every time when there's legal matters, we take them out, out uh, outside of their presence. And we're going to take the testimony right now. Call your next I witness. I merely seek to put you on notice on the record for something that needs to be brought to your attention and, and to will, the court's attention. And I will address it That's at the That's what next I'm break. really seeking to do. It's something that shouldn't have to wait because it'll take a valuable time later. At least if I notify you right from the onset, you'll already know what we're looking at. And we can nip it in the bud before everything starts to roll. And Mr. Brooks, it gets over, it gets I will overlooked. address it at the next break. If you want to write something down, that's fine and give it to my clerk. I have nothing in writing. Um, I know there's witnesses available and ready to go. Call your next witness. Your Honor, this, uh, Your Honor, you have to answer this question. That's you're Mr. making Brooks, a judicial determination. Call your next witness, judgment. please. You're rushing me to judgment, Your Honor. There's no rush to judgment. There is here, a sir. rush to judgment. If you won't address a legal issue that I informed you that I had some legal issues that needed to be addressed before you just run right past that, Your Honor. You're a public Mr. Brooks, servant. Are you not a public servant? It is 937. Call your... It is your, 837. Sorry, 837. You're right. Call your next witness. Your Honor, you're rushing me to judgment. There, there's no rush to judgment. Call your next witness, We had please. a legal matter that needed to be addressed. And I'm merely trying to and notify I'm the court. Telling you I'm denying onset. the request to address it at this moment. Call your next witness. You said what? I'm denying your request to address it at this moment. Please how call. Can, how can you please? deny something that we're supposed to do before Mr. the Brooks. Jury even comes out? <clears throat> call your witness. I'm not, I'm not seeking to be disruptive. I'm just seeking to understand why we all we do this Everyone every day. Everyone is in the courtroom waiting for you. Please call your, your next Honor, witness. We do this every single day. We've done it every single day. So I'm, I'm simply trying to make sure that the court is notified. Of Put it in writing, hand discussed. it to the bailiff, and if I deem it important enough to interrupt the witness, I will. But call your next witness. How can I? How can I call a witness and write something down? And do, do you can both. take a minute this to write the, down what it is. I'm is not asking you to. This is why it needed to be addressed beforehand. <clears throat> Mr. Brooks, that way the jury is remaining in this courtroom. Call your next witness, please. Your Honor, you're rushing me to judgment. There's no rush to judgment, sir. Are you? Or are you not a public servant, Your Honor? Mr. Brooks, do I not have your oath of, of office? Under 90611, this court has the authority, as you know. Do I not have, call, is this not a copy, or I asked for certified copies that you said on record that you would not provide for, for no good reason, but these are three, sir, three of your you oaths. Sir, you are doing this, right and here. I've repeatedly told you, you can see the juries here. You're, You're doing, doing this. I, I, listen, I, we Your need Honor, to go I'm forward. I'm not attempting, I'm not attempting to delay the proceedings. I'm not attempting to be disruptive. I'm merely trying to notify your honor in the court for the record beforehand. That way, everyone's at least on notice of the issues that need to be taken up instead of waiting until a break or a lunch and, and things of that nature, which kills my valuable discretion, time. It's my authority. It's the courtroom that I'm your presiding honor. over. I'm not going to address is that this, at is, this moment. Is this not your oath? I'm not going to ans answer questions. Did you not questions. swear as a public servant that you were protect Mr. the United Brooks, States Constitution? Call Did you not do your that? Witness. Three times. I have all of you here. Your oath, Your Honor, as a public servant. And Mr. now Brooks, you're rushing me to judgment there's no rush when I'm to doing judgment. things lawfully by trying to notify you and notify the court of issues that need to be addressed Mr. Brooks, beforehand. Mr. Brooks, we are These in the evidentiary issues. phase of this trial. Your Honor, you're Call your next witness. You're rushing me to judgment, Your Honor. And I object I'm to that. I'm aware of three witnesses I who object, are here. I object Call to one that. of them, please. Your Honor, I object to that. Your objection's noted. And, I, and I want a legal reconsideration of your ruling. If not, I, I reject that ruling and take exception to that ruling. I understand. I request a legal or a factual basis for your ruling, a written Judicial finding of fact and conclusion of law for your ruling, and if not that, an interlocutory, declaratory appeal for this matter, and if not, these needs need to be stayed until this matter is before a adjudicated court of competent jurisdiction. 
because we have not proven jurisdiction in this court as of yet. Subject matter jurisdiction has not even been proven on the record, Your Honor. I don't even know the true nature and cause Mr. of the Brooks, charges against me. I don't even understand that part I of it. Understand I haven't your been request. provided a complaint. I haven't. Your Honor, there's there's so many issues. Mr. And Brooks, I'm not we will take. I'm not attempting to, Mr. To, Brooks, to be disrespectful in any way. We I'm need to continue. To delay the proceedings your requests in any way. are denied. Your Honor, I, I and I'm going to instruct the jury that. at this point to I disregard I and not consider that, any Honor. of what has just happened since you walked in. It should not be held against Mr. Brooks in any way. Um, these are legal issues that this court may or may not need to address, but they do not bear in any way on ultimately the issues that these that you as jurors will have to decide. And I'm instructing you uh, on, to disregard. Uh, what you have just heard and seen. Your Honor, with, with everything that I just said be part, be made part of the record. It's on the record. I'm telling the jury that it shouldn't affect anything that they're doing in any way. Your Honor, it's a, with rush, that, to, it's a rush to judgment. Mr. Brooks. Because, Your Honor, I just showed your oath that you swore to took. You swore, you Mr. did Brooks, this, Your Honor. Please call your next witness. You, you took these oath of offices. You did, Your Honor, three of them. I understand which, my oath, Which is sir, very, very, very well. commendable that, you know, that you decided to be a public servant in this, in these, in, in these type of matters, Your Honor. I, I, I respect it to the fullest, but also, it, you, you have to uphold these oaths. That All you right, take, I'm going to have to excuse Honor. the jury since Mr. Brooks uh, is not to, calling his witness. You we'll have hopefully to. Hopefully, bring to, you back out shortly. You have to right. honor these 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 oaths of offices. You have to, as a public servant, Your Honor. I, I respect you being a public servant. And this is not to take a shot at you in any way, but these, these Mr. issues Brooks, that I have, stop. Please they stop. need to be addressed. They need I'm to be. I'm excusing the jury. Can you please stop? Your Honor, this is a rush to judgment. This is a clear, this is a clear bias. Mr. Brooks, you are to stop talking. Are you asking me? I'm advising you, or you will forfeit your right to be present in this so courtroom for the contempt. questioning of your first witness. Because you're holding me in contempt. I'm not holding you in contempt. Then how can you remove me from uh, the, the courtroom when I haven't given consent? Mr. Brooks, I'm advising you at this moment to call your next witness, or you will forfeit the right to call these witnesses. You can't, you can't uh, take Under 906.11, right? you, you are cannot, refusing you cannot, to you call cannot, a witness. I didn't refuse anything, Your Honor. You can't, you can't deny me my six... Amendment right, which is Mr. To Brooks, call do you want to be present in which this is to courtroom witnesses. while you question your first witness? Because it is now 844 and you've consistently talked in front of the jury who's no longer in this courtroom on issues that you have been advised and are fully aware are not relevant to their determination despite what you this, believe the law this didn't have anything is. To do with the jury Subject matter right? jurist no you that's what that is what you referenced in front of the jury I and then that you referenced after I my had raised the issues that I was Subject to matter raise. jurisdiction as you know is not as something I don't know. the state has to be the state it must has to prove be proven. it has to be and you are frankly confusing law. civil show me jurisdiction law law, in Honor. federal cases with criminal court jurisdiction in the state of Wisconsin. You don't have criminal. That we has been made abundantly clear. We don't have subject matter jurisdiction or personal jurisdiction. Mr. Brooks. Or personal jurisdiction. You don't. You haven't proven. You have not. I, I excuse the, the jury. I'll give you the opportunity to raise whatever issue it was, but you need to do it now or we're moving forward. That's what I want to do. That's what so, I was attempting to do. And if you interrupt me one more time, you're going to go do it from the other courtroom. And, and because so you're, you're being me All right. I'm, he can go to the other courtroom, and we will address these issues because are you, you are consent? not being respectful. You are disruptive. You are interrupting. I will give you one more opportunity. Don't interrupt me again. Don't roll your eyes at me. Don't sigh at me. You have delayed these proceedings now by 15 minutes because of your nonstop commentary. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to listen to you. What issue do you want to raise, sir? So are you letting me uh, make an offer of proof for my appeal? No, because that's not what's relevant at this time, sir. If you, you don't need to make an offer of proof. Tell me what the issue is. You okay. said you have a legal issue you want to raise before we get going. What is that issue? Okay. The legal issue is this. Uh, Detective Casey yesterday testified for the second time under oath 
in uh, reference to exhibits 13 and 14 that show the backyard of my mother's home, which he stated that he had been to the home, had seen the backyard, and all this stuff, when he did not, in fact, even speak with my mother. It was brought to my attention that my mother, in fact, never speak to, spoke to any law enforcement from Waukesha. Would you like to add her to your witness list to call her? Yes, I would. All right, that's because fine. She's that's willing, how we'll she's address willing that. to come. But that's not something we needed to address this it, it needs right to away, be addressed sir. Because, because of the issue of the subpoena. That's the reason why it needed to be addressed. That's the reason why I was trying to attempt to it bring it to your attention. It could have been done on a break. All right, so what I be, you're putting, I have, you, you would like, you're asking me to add Don Woods to the witness list for you. Yes, but I also have a question of, about the subpoena. The subpoena for whom? For, for my mother. But I would also like to subpoena the phone records so it can be made part of the record of the conversation since the prosecution listens to all the phone calls. They should be able to have heard that phone call as well. So they should be on notice of what was said. I don't know what phone call you're referring to. If I'm you're referring, referring to, to a, a jail call phone from, call, I'm referring then... to a jail phone call that was made last night, October 20th, between 7.54 p.m. and 8.10 p.m., which I'm sure the prosecution has heard by now. And that also brings up the issue of perjury testimony. Sir, the... the... The way that you will address the issues that you're talking about are to call witnesses to challenge that or to present the evidence in support of your position. If you're telling me you need to add Dawn Woods to the witness list, I approve of that. Um, you can fill out a subpoena and I'll direct the state to serve that upon her and at the appropriate time we'll have her brought, we'll indicate when in the order of folks she can be brought in. So I'll grant that request. In terms of the jail records, uh, you'll have to subpoena the appropriate custodian or a witness who can testify to that. That's that's what I was trying to gain knowledge of. Well, I, I can't I give you advice on that. I'm sir. not trying to ask for advice. I was is the is can I, is that that's legal asking for me, to me subpoena? For, I can't direct how you do that. I can't tell you how to do that. Um, you are acting as your own attorney, and you uh, will need to figure that out. So. You have the subpoena forms. Um, you can research the issues. You have access to legal research materials and other things. Uh, and that's how you'll have to address I that. I accept for value and return for value this document. Was that a subpoena form? It is. Thank you. Is there any other witnesses you're asking to add to your, uh, and, and you can also call Detective Casey if you want, just so you know. <coughs> so that make three times he's able to testify? If you believe he has information that he hasn't testified to, I will give you permission to call him as well. No, I don't think it'd be necessary. You know, he know, he know what he did. Well, in any event, and he know what he um, didn't do. We're gonna bring the jury back out, and then I expect you to call a witness. And what? And just so I'm clear, because I was trying to get to that issue, what witnesses are here? Because I, I don't have the, uh, I don't have any. Any paperwork for uh, Kohler, 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 I, I don't know. Douglas Kohler, that. Stephen Guth, and Erica Patterson. Of those three, you, I expect you to call one of those witnesses. Sorry, I accept sure. for value and return for value this document. For the record, Judge, Attorney Wichow just handed to the defendant for his benefit the police report and the relate to the statement of Douglas Kohler. And she's claiming he does not have it. Since I, I know that I don't have it. So let's make that record correct. You don't have it with you in the courtroom is what you're saying. I can't find it anywhere. You've had it previously. Yes, I had it at one point. All right. Are you ready to proceed forward, Mr. Brooks? Yes. All right, let's bring the jury out. 